Happy New Year, guys! Since it's now 2022, and we figured we would start this year with some new games. Today, I am back with 10 new games of 2022. But before going ahead, let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes on this video, and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get starting off with number 10, Gorilla Online. This is an online survival game where you will play as either a gorilla or survivor. The main theme of this game is Survivor. Have survived by running away from the gorilla so that the gorilla can't attack him in a given period of time. On the other hand, the gorilla has to find the survivor and beat him to win the match. Also in the game, you have to collect bananas and different kinds of power-up tokens to increase your abilities. Overall, it's a decent game with decent graphics. Number 9. Alpha Ace. Alpha Ace is a brand new action FPS similar to CSGO. It features many modes, but the goal is usually to take down as many enemies as possible. In Alpha Ace, you will play in a team and earn points by defeating enemies. You can also get bonus points for completing different objectives, depending on the game mode. There will be a variety of weapons to choose from. If you like close quarter fights, pick SMGs or shotguns, while if you prefer mid to long range combat, choose assault rifles or snipers. There are many game modes like Demolition Clash, Team Clash, Titans Arcade, Rocket Game, and more. In my opinion, the graphics of the game is very good, and right now it is available for Android in Russia. Number 8, Super Rabbit Word. Action and adventure games, then you should try Super Rabbit Word. This is an arcade game inspired by the Mario game where you play as Rabbit who is on a mission to save his girlfriend. Also, you have to overcome the different types of difficulties and obstacles that come your way and fight with various types of creatures, green slimes, slugs, and more. And at the end, you have to defeat the giant stone boss monster. In my opinion, I love this game, and the graphics of this game is also amazing. Number 7, Burning Dead. This is an FPS game where you play as a survivor in the zombie apocalypse. The game is a little bit similar to Into the Dead 2 where you have to escape through forests and mountains full of zombies. In the game, the player can only control weapon systems and the rest of things like running automatically which is the biggest drawback of this game, and it needs in-app purchases to unlock all levels which may be a con of this game. Overall, I love this game and the graphics of this game is also awesome. Number 6, Where's Samantha? This is a physics-based puzzle platformer game which follows the adventures of George, a scrap of fabric who travels through a cloth world to find his beloved, Samantha. So your main job is to help George as he searches for his lost love. Samantha overcomes puzzles and obstacles in this hand-drawn textile world, along with that game features over 45 levels of physics-based puzzles of varying complexity where you can use weight-splitting techniques to solve them. Also, beautifully hand-drawn artwork of this game looks amazing. Number 5, Jaeger. Some action games will throw the player into a huge battlefield, right from the first minute, and Jaeger is one of them. This is an MMORPG that takes you on monster hunts that can't be more terrifying. The whole game is full of challenges and a series of earth-shattering battles against monsters of tremendous strength, enormous size, and hideous appearance. Along with that game has an interesting storyline with many dramatic details, where you can immerse yourself in a strange planet alone or you can co-op with friends to fight monsters. Overall, it's a great game with fabulous graphics. Number 4, Tower Hunter, Ezra's Trial. This is a classic roguelike side-scrolling action game where you will explore a mysterious tower with Ezra, vanquishes mutant monsters, and defeats bosses to acquire a hunter's license. In addition, the game contains core elements of Metroidvania and RPG, although it's in early access so it might be a little unstable. Still, it looks like an impressively deep adventure with some neat ideals. Also, it sees you working your way through a tower, unlocking new skills, performing impressive combos, and taking down enormous bosses. Overall, it's a decent game with good graphics. Number 3, Plumber Bro. This is a 3D action RPG game based on Mario game where you play the role of a plumber, a presumed Mario, in search of a Princess Peach in the hands of Bowser. If I talked about gameplay, then game and cutscenes are quite similar to Super Mario Odyssey, where you have to complete over 17 stages and face hordes of enemies that will try to kill you. Also, there are many powerful bosses that appeared in Super Mario Odyssey, so after the victory, Mario and his friends increase their level and also receive lots of rewards. In my opinion, I really enjoyed this game, I used different attack abilities during the fight, and overall it's a great game with great graphics. Number 2, Fading City. This is a brand new open world survival game which looks like a famous game Last of Us. 
So in the game, you have to survive in this wasteland where the zombies are everywhere. You have to complete different types of quests and gather resources for survival. The game has a beautiful storyline which is set in the ruins of a city called We Do. You can freely explore the open and huge city ruins, craft weapons, solve puzzles, and fight with others against powerful zombies. Overall, the graphics of the game is quite close to console level, which makes this game amazing. Number 1. Chimera Land If you are looking for a game that has a larger open world map to explore and full of adventure and monsters, then you should try Chimera Land. This is an open world survival craft MMO game where you can hunt ancient strange animals, and the game not only has lots of quests, but also perfect scenery and a wide open fantasy world. The world Chimera Land has 4 continents over 9 billion square feet of the map where you can explore over land or under the sea. It's populated with bizarre monsters that you can befriend and tame or mash up in epic scraps. Also, game offers PvP as well, so you can lump on other players if you want. Overall, it's kind of a survival game where you have to build your home, gather resources, and fight with crazy creatures. I personally played this game, and believe me, it's amazing. So that's it for today, guys. Please comment down which game you like most, and if you feel this video is helpful, then leave a like. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button, and turn on the bell notifications, because we put out new videos every week. Either way, thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time.